Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 780, the category Friday Night Pub Quiz number 7. This is a 21-question trivia quiz with questions from varying categories and varying levels of difficulty. There's 20 questions at the beginning. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end if you need it. Thank you for watching, and good luck. Question number one. His books focus on Jack Ryan, who rises from CIA analyst to become president. The video games Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six are by his company. What is the name of this author of The Hunt for Red October and Op Center? His name is Tom Clancy. Question number two. Examples include limestone, coal, gypsum, and shale. What are these rocks formed when other rocks are weathered or eroded and soil is redeposited by the weather? Those type of rocks are called sedimentary. Question number three. Its rhyming scheme could be A B B A A B B A C D E C D E. What is this single stanza 14 line poem written in iambic pentameter of which Shakespeare wrote many? That type of poem is called a sonnet. Question number four. This three-word Latin phrase is the title of an album by Ja Rule. What is this phrase uttered by Caesar after his victory at the Battle of Zila, which means, I came, I saw, I conquered. The answer is Vinny Vidi Viti. Question number five. She was Queen Amidala's decoy in Phantom Menace. What is the name of this actress whose films include Bend It Like Beckham, Pirates of the Caribbean, and King Arthur? That actress's name is Kira Knightley. Question number six. On a 2000 album, they sang about a last beautiful girl and a mad season. Another album is called More Than You Think You Are. Who is this group with a number in their name? Very popular in the early 2000s, the band's name is Matchbox 20. Question number seven. In July of 1588, after a devastating battle, it was forced to sail around Scotland instead of through the English Channel. What was the name given to this fleet of Spanish ships? It was known as the Spanish Armada. Question number eight. This term means intensity of effect. A large army or a group of armed men such as a police or to compel someone to do something. What is the name of this quantity that according to Newton's second law is equal to mass times acceleration?
all of those definitions work with the term force. Question number nine. Army and Navy used to be members. All of the current members have a traditional shield emblem. What is this league of prestigious college, which include Harvard and Yale, named for a plant found growing on their walls? That league is known as the Ivy League. Question number 10. Portrayed on film by actors like Robert Downey Jr., Eddie Murphy, and Rex Harrison, what literary character created by Hugh Lofting lived in Puddleby on the Marsh, was given a push-me-pull-you, and could talk to the animals? The answer is Dr. Doolittle. Question number 11. The math of chance. What is the mathematical term that is defined as the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of possible outcomes? The math of chance is probability. Question number 12. The Richter scale is used to measure the severity of earthquakes and the Fujita scale measures the intensity of tornadoes. What is the name of the scale in geology that measures the hardness of rocks and other minerals? That is known as the Mohs Scale. Question 13. The movie Napoleon Dynamite was filmed there. What is the name of the U.S. state whose largest cities are Pocatello and Boise and is well known for its growing potatoes? The answer is Idaho. Question 14. Founded in May of 1862 by Abraham Lincoln, what United States government department controls the food stamp program, school lunches and breakfasts, and meat and poultry inspection? The answer is the Department of Agriculture. Question 15. In 1922, an English archaeologist named Howard Carter and his patron, Lord Carnarvon, discovered one of the richest finds in history. After years of research and work in the field, what did these two men find? They were the first to uncover King Tut's tomb. Question 16. Although similar examples of the device existed and were used before then, to rid their nation of the monarchy during the reign of terror, French revolutionaries used and popularized what mode of execution? The answer is the guillotine. Question 17. Equal air pressure is controlled inside and outside the human body by means of a tube connecting the inner ear with the throat. 
What is the name of this channel? That channel is known as the Eustachian Tube. Question number 18. If you sailed from Trieste to Corfu, you would cross the Adriatic Sea. What is the name of the sea that you would be crossing if you went from Helsinki to Copenhagen? The answer is the Baltic Sea. Question 19. The most translated author from his country and the second most translated author in the world behind Shakespeare, what French author's works include A Trip to the Moon, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and Around the World in 80 Days? That author's name is Jules Verne. Question number 20. The first and last letters of the alphabet most of the world now uses are the letter A and the letter Z. What are the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet? The answer is Alpha and Omega. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. Subscribe to the channel if you're just now finding us and you'd like to be reminded of when these daily quizzes pop up. We have now 780 quizzes you can go back and play or you can just start from here. We'll be going to at least 1,001 trivia quizzes. That'll get us most of the way through the rest of this year. At that point, I'll be moving back to America and I'm going to have to figure out what to do then because when I get back to America, I may have to have a real job. So we'll see what, what will happen when I get there. But for right now, you can expect that we'll be here for at least another 221 days to reach episode number 1001. Anyways, here is the final question for today, Friday night pub quiz number seven. Here is the tiebreaker. A triangle with all three sides congruent is called an equilateral triangle. What do we call a triangle with no sides congruent? The answer is a scalene triangle. It's weird how some of these, like that one, I'm sure I learned that the first day of geometry, you know, whatever grade that was in, I was probably 12 or 13 years old. I probably have known for a long time that no congruent sides means it's a scalene triangle. But here I am 20 years later, I have no idea. I would not have known that one. So if you didn't get that one right, don't feel bad. What the heck is a scalene triangle anyway? But apparently, apparently that's what it is. So don't forget it from this point. I've told you, now you have no excuse. A scalene triangle is a triangle that has no sides that are congruent. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something, not just the triangle question, but something from the other 20 questions. And see you tomorrow for episode 781.